So a lot of people do come in and they describe that they're getting this pinching sensation as they go to press or they lift their arm above the head. Majority of the time it is due to tightness of the pectoral, uh, the pec minor. Okay, so we're gonna work on releasing that a little bit and then we can also go through a general massage for the shoulder. So just make sure to have some towels and a little bit of massage cream nearby. And this is just to stop the friction more than anything. Okay, first ask for consent. Are you okay? Cool. All right. So the pec minor connects from this area up into the shoulder just through there. So it can be very sensitive for a lot of people. So usually we just start with a little bit of desensitization just to relax the patient. And using your fingers, just try not to hyperextend the fingers. You wanna bend them a little bit. You're gonna start not on the joint line. You're gonna start a little bit off where this muscular part starts. And you're just gonna push right into that area. So that's all. Yeah, it's a bit sore. So it's very sore for a lot of people. Just through there. So usually this is the furthest you need to go. It can be very uncomfortable for older people. So I like to work through the delt as well. There's no real harm in massaging and relaxing the shoulder region. So nice circles with your fingers, a little bit of light pressure, nothing too painful. Some people do get pain down into past the deltoid area. So a little bit of massage through there. And then back to the back minor. Bit sore. So it should be a good kind of pressure, nothing too painful. And I usually encourage about three minutes to five minutes at most. It can get very sensitive and very painful if you just dig in the whole time. So three to five minutes, light pressure, nothing too painful. And then I like to use my knuckles to ride up the trap area. Just tear into the neck region. So if people are complaining of tightness through the traps, just riding up into that area, just there. Pretty comfortable? Okay, we're gonna swap the angle around just so we can do the back part of the shoulder. Okay, so if we're massaging to the back of the shoulder, so again, using the knuckles, going up into the traps, and majority of the time you feel this little knot right here. So you might get like a little bit of a click as you go up there. You're okay? Mm -hmm. Down into the shoulder. So if the patient has had a rotator cuff tear or any kind of issues with their rotator cuff, uh, the rotator cuff complex is pretty much where my hand is, okay? So starting from where my thumb is, you're gonna go across and along the spine of the scapula just here, and you just ride that bony part just along there. So again, you can use your thumbs, just make sure not to hyperextend. You can go above the spine of the scapula, just like that. Pretty comfortable. I also like to go along the medial border of the, sh the shoulder blade as well. So digging my thumb through there. Not too sore. And be nice at the end. Just to, nice gentle strokes, just to relax afterwards. Again, up traps there. along the spine of the shoulder blade. And into the medial border of the shoulder blade. Beautiful. And that's how to massage the shoulder. Comfy? Mm -hmm.